Alright, what is going on YouTube? And today we got a brand new episode of Quick Scoping for Christ. And as you can see, we are on Advanced Warfare today. And this is a game that I have only played a week of in my whole Call of Duty career. Not just sniping, but ever. You can see in this video, I think I start out at level 14 or something. Very low. I've barely touched this game. Uh, but more on that in a second. We're going to start with a little bit of reading from scripture today. Our reading today comes from the book of James, which is a small little book of the Bible towards the end of your Bibles. It's in between Hebrews and 1 Peter, and it was written by Jesus' human brother. So, like, you know, he was not born of the Virgin Mary. He was born of, like, a full-on Mother Mary, James was. He was not, like, a god or anything like that. But he was a leader of the church in Jerusalem, which is pretty cool. And we are going to be reading from uh, James 1, verse 2, all the way to 8. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. So that did take a dark turn towards the end, but it makes sense, like doubt is such a poison to your mind, whereas positivity is like a fuel for like, you know, just good living. But let's take it from the top and give like a applicable view to everybody listening. So he says, he starts by saying, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So it's become kind of popular on like memes and stuff and just online saying like suffering builds character, but it actually is true. Like you think about, think about the hardest thing you ever went through and now ask yourself, would you, if you could go back and change that? And a lot of people might say yes, but there's others that might say no, because thinking about it this way. The hardest thing you ever went through made everything that followed seem that much easier. And that's the thing about perseverance. When you attack a difficult situation of any kind with positivity, no matter how hard it might be, you even ha might have a little bit of uh, pride that might think you deserve to be negative or you know have a negative attitude towards the situation, which you probably do. Like. I'm not here to say anybody's struggle is insignificant whatsoever, but if you attack it with a positive attitude, the hardest situation you can like muster up in your life, then that will make everything that follows that much easier. Life becomes easier when you can persevere through challenges positively, maintaining a good attitude, being grateful, and a little like kind of I guess life hack that I came across was when I was struggling with things in life I would thank God for them because a it was an important opportunity that I could kind of use to remind myself to pray and more to ask God about you know like for instance if somebody shattered my kneecaps that's one more thing to talk to God about praying for a quick recovery for my knee and that whoever shattered my kneecaps, you know, in a better mood, because he's probably not happy if he shattered my kneecaps as a person. But but anyway, that's reason number one. And then reason number two, the reason why you you know I thank God for those challenging situations is because they make me appreciate uh, when life is good more, and they make the harder times easier to endure. Think about it. You as a person don't have as much power as God, but you do have the power to alter your own reality with positivity. You have the power to never be miserable again by attacking your worst situations in life with a positive attitude and by telling yourself 
and reminding yourself that with God you can get through this. Prayer and just, you know, smile more. Keep a level head and don't, like, have negative thoughts, even though it seems like the most appropriate thing to do in the moment. And it might be, but just be inappropriately positive. Because it can only benefit you. And even though you're entitled to be negative, that doesn't mean that it will help you in the long run. Mentally and spiritually. That's why everybody says there's a beauty in the rock bottom, because the only place to go from there is up. So take this for example. On Call of Duty, you got, you got your favorite maps. Maps that you would play all the time if you had the choice or there was a game mode of them. And then you got your maps that are kind of mid and you're, you see them get voted over your favorite map sometimes. You're like, what the heck? Who would possibly choose um, Rio over, I don't know, High Rise? What is this, like, insanity? And then you got your maps that are absolutely awful. You're like, don't ever give me this map. This map freaking sucks. I hate this map. And then you get that map. And you have two options. You can back out of that game, or you can just play it through. You can just suck it up and suffer through that match. It's kind of like that Fortnite analogy. In life, it's like Fortnite. Just because you have bad loot doesn't mean you're gonna back out of the game or at least I would hope not so in this in this scenario just because you have a bad map doesn't mean you have to back out of the game if you play that sucky map it's gonna make those mid maps the maps that aren't your favorite but aren't your least favorite either seem like some pretty good maps after that and then you're gonna feel like you have superpowers when you get your favorite map it's it's wonderful if you can endure that really sucky map, then you can thrive on the mediocre maps. And you can just go absolutely hog wild on the great maps. You see, you see where I'm going with this? It's like the same thing in life. If you have a job in IT or if you're like a work with people and you have, you're on the phone, you know, it's a rough call with like somebody who's in a bad mood and is treating you poorly, if you can respond positively and give that person the best experience they can possibly have on that call, then how much greater are your calls with normal people or great people going to be? It's probably going to be like a scene from Wolf of Wall Street where you're just like firing off like words and stuff and it's like going great and all that jazz. Maybe you're working construction or landscape and you're trying to till some ground and it's some firm ground and that stuff is like tough and it won't like budge. But if you suffer through it, how much easier is going to be moving like soft soil or, you know, soil that isn't so firm or dirt that isn't so firm or whatever, what have you. But yes, positivity and perseverance, a thing, a thing of beauty. And I can take, I can practice what I preach here. I have the opportunity to do that because... Right now, on our Call of Duty tour, we are on Advanced Warfare, which is probably one of the rougher experiences I've played. Now, I do love this game. From what I've played, the gameplay is actually a ton of fun. The movement is wild. The Moors is, you know, it's decent. It's a fun gun to use. I wouldn't say it's a great sniper. But the people that are playing this game with me, I will be the first to tell you, are a lot better than me at the movement and at the maps. And uh, definitely aiming, like, the time to kill on here must be outrageous. And I am happy to even get a double kill. You'll see here a lot of my clips are just double kills. And I felt happy with a game where I even went positive, like that last game I went like 27 and whatever. And that was my first game on, so I was thinking this is going to be a breeze. And then after oh that God, game, I only went against, more. like, extremely good Advanced Warfare players that were like rocking my world with how good they were. So it has been a bit of a struggle on Advanced Warfare. We're going to persevere. We're going to try to get that clip. We might go for a trick shot if a quad feed is seeming unattainable because I don't want to spend forever on this game. Duality 3 is coming soon. Hopefully sometime in the fall. 
So there's a few more CODs I want to knock off on the tour first, including Vanguard and Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah. I don't know if we'll do some old gen CODs or not. I plan on touring them, but I don't know if the gameplay will be featured in Duality 3. We might not have time to get there. But overall, I'm not rushing too much. I'm trying to enjoy the process a little bit of the whole Call of Duty tour, especially Advanced Warfare. Because like, like I said, it's hard, it's difficult, it's not the most fun, it sucks like getting demolished by people flying through the air with all the like super good ARs and SMGs and stuff. But how much easier is that going to make it and how much more satisfying is it going to feel when I get on Modern Warfare, t Modern Warfare 3 2023 and get on there where there isn't that movement and where the snipers are a lot quicker and better and there's not just people who stuck on the game and are really good at the game because of that now. Just think about that. A little food for thought. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll stick around and enjoy Duality 3. And I love you guys. God bless you. Peace out. I will see you next time.